Repeveral Gold Mines Limited. Repeveral Gold Mines Limited 1898 1CH 122, a UK insolvency law case concerning liquidation when a company is unable to repay its debts. It held that a member cannot be prevented by a company constitution from bringing a winding up petition. It is, however, possible for a member to make a shareholder agreement and thus contract out of the right to bring a winding up petition outside of the company. Facts The Articles of Association of Peveril Gold Mines Limited said no member should petition for winding up unless two directors had consented or the general meeting had resolved or a petitioner held at least 20% of issued capital. A member asked for winding up without satisfying any of these conditions. Judgment. Lord Lindley, Mr. Held, that the member was entitled to do so. He said these registered limited companies are incorporated on certain conditions. They continue to exist on certain conditions, and they are liable to be dissolved on certain conditions. He pointed to the predecessors of Insolvency Act 1986 sections 122, sections 124, and said they set out circumstance when a company can be dissolved by the court and who can petition. A member could... I will begin by reading the following passage from the speech of Lord McNaughton in Welton v. Safari 1897 AC 324, these companies are the creature of statute, and by the statute to which they owe their being they must be bound in regard to shareholders as well as in regard to creditors in all matters coming within the conditions of the memorandum of association. Shareholders in these companies require protection just as much as creditors perhaps even more. Shareholders are not partners for all. Chitty L.J. and Vaughan Williams L.J. concurred.